What's up everybody, it's Fatty Mansa here from Real Results Fitness and in this video, what we're gonna learn how to do is a dumbbell curl. When you're working out any muscle group, you always wanna remember, if you've been watching my videos, this should be repetitive to you, you want to shorten the muscle and lengthen the muscle. So on a bicep curl, we're working our biceps. So how do we shorten the muscle? By basically flexing it. Coming up here and flexing. Okay, how do we lengthen it? We go all the way back down to where it's relaxed, okay? So it's the opposite of a slow insider chip. It's the opposite of the triceps. So how do we uh, lengthen the triceps? We go here, okay? It's the opposite of the bicep. How do we shorten it? We go here, flexing my tricep. With the dumbbell curls, we wanna pick a weight that's not too heavy. So this is not like the big lifts, like our uh, rows or pull-ups or deadlifts or anything like that. It doesn't matter if you get a PR in this, okay, a personal record. Your biceps not, could only grow so much. Think about how small your bicep is. Your bicep could only grow so much, okay? So it doesn't matter if you're picking up 100 pound dumbbells and trying to curl those, you're more than likely gonna rip your bicep right off the tendon. So we wanna pick a nice decent weight, and then what we're doing is we're doing what I just talked about. We're flexing it, and we're coming back. We're flexing it, and we're coming back. Now, a lot of people when they do this motion, they feel like they can flex their bicep even more by bringing their elbow up. And you'll see this a lot of times. Uh, look in the mirror next time you're doing a bicep curl and more than likely you're doing this. What people are doing is they're curling here and then they're bringing their elbow up because they think it flexes their bicep anymore. All that's doing is putting a shoulder into the action. If this is as far as you can go, then that's all you need to do. So let me show you the improper way of doing the curl. See how my elbow's coming up? It's not at my side anymore. Here and right back there. Here and up. If I'm going any further, again, that's bringing my shoulder into play. We don't want to do that. Something you want to make sure you are doing is keeping your wrist strong. Okay, so I'll see a lot of people when they're curling, their wrist is coming down or they're coming up and they wonder why in the next couple of days why they have sore wrists or their wrists hurt. It's because they're curling up or they're curling in. Again, if this is as far as I can go, then that's it. So front view, how to do the dumbbell curls. Here, here, and up. If you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, all you gotta do is turn your pinky out. Okay? So all we're doing is here and turn it out slightly. Okay, it's just here and out, here and out, as opposed to just straight up. So let me show you a regular dumbbell curl, and then what's called a supinated dumbbell curl. Wrist straight, okay, they're not coming down, and they're not leaning in. So that's a regular dumbbell curl, and then supinated, where we're turning it out a little bit, it's just here. It's just that slight movement. Might not even be able to notice it uh, while I'm doing this, but if you try it normal, where the dumbbells are just coming up, then you do them supinated, where your wrists are turning out, then you'll feel the difference almost instantly. That's how we do a proper dumbbell curl. Major key alert. Oh, we good now. Oh, we good now. Major bag alert. DJ Khaled.